Hi guys, welcome to another Japan haul. Today we are going to be going like beauty and makeup haul. There's quite a lot in this one, um, so we're going to get into it as soon as possible. I'm wearing the same outfit from my clothing haul because I'm just bashing it out on the same day, but I've thrown my hair up on a ponytail to try and trick you. But let's get into my beauty haul. Let's find the bag. See, look, this bag is chocked full of stuff. And it's my little Innisfree bag. So again, a Korean brand, um, but went in Asia, right? <laughs> so let's dig in. So first, I, I probably could have included this in the clothing haul, but it's a pom pom pudding kind of headband that you put on when you're doing your skincare and your makeup, put your bangs out of your face. And I got this from the Sanrio store. Pom pom pudding is probably my favorite Sanrio character at the moment, currently, <laughs> I do have a Karomi over here, Karomi, sorry, um, but yeah, I'm really into pom-pom pudding, and this is not the only pom-pom pudding thing that you will see in my other hauls, <laughs> there's a, a pom-pom pudding shows up a lot, <laughs> so yeah, just the pom-pom pudding headband, where to dig in, let's do face masks, <laughs> face mask so we have this BT21 uh, chimmy face mask BT21 is obviously BTS collaborating with Line Friends Line is a Japanese social network app so there was BT21 stuff everywhere and anything you could think of I have a few other BT21 items in my bag so that's a chimney face mask. Uh, next we have two face masks from the brand Owl Face. So we have Pure Black Aqua Moisture Sheet Mask. And we have the Clearing Brightening Mask. So these brands, like above there was a picture of Nizu, which are a J-pop group that formed by JYP. I watched the survival show. Riku is my bias, um, bias Oshi, here's my signed Riku <laughs> picture, um, photo card, um, yeah, so I think they are the, like, face of this brand, they've been a face of lots of different brands in Japan, so I thought I need some more face masks, my supply is running low, and if Nizi you say this brand, then this brand. <laughs> Next we have my Innisfree face masks. So I can't really go wrong with Innisfree, pretty decent brand. Um, so I have two aloe vera and a green tea. I'm pretty like particular when it comes to like what type of face mask. I kind of stick to the same kind of, what would you say, like um, essence of like product that's in it. Green tea is one of my favourite, aloe vera is definite. I like egg whites, it's quite a good one. Um, tea tree. I kind of usually, you know, whichever brand I'm going for, it's there's definitely going to be a green tea and an aloe face mask that I'm going to pick up. So I'm excited to use these ones. I only got three because I didn't want to like pack my suitcase full, and I still have a few left from the last time I went to Nature Republic in London. So I have this Apu Apu uh, Madascasani Gouge Mask. So this is a brand that Diane from Twice and Sana from Twice were the faces of and there was a little poster of them above it. Again, K-pop girls will convince me to buy a face mask very easily. Um, so this one's 220 yen, that's the price on it. Um, I think the other, the owl face ones were like a similar kind of price packet and I think I got this one in Yodabashi camera. <laughs> so yeah. So while we're on the topic of um, a K-pop girl, particularly a TWICE member, will literally sell me on anything skincare-wise and beauty-wise because these are vitamins. So this is, I've got a box of Lamona. It's like um, a vitamin, um, it's in a little packet. You, <laughs> it, um, I've had Lamona before, I actually have a huge tin. No, it let me go get my tin. I have the big Jung Yun tin, which I got on Makari. Um, it's empty now, so I needed to restock. And this was just in 
like the train station like yeah <laughs> it was just like in Tokyo train station it was just in a beauty store and I was like well I just ran out like literally I used my last one like the day before I left for Japan so I needed some more Lamona um just cause it's a good like you know good quick vitamin C fix if you are needing that which you should always make sure you're getting enough vitamins <laughs> next we have this is the Apu Skincare Water Lock Cushion. I'm not really sure exactly what this is, but it says Diane's Pick on it. So, um, yeah, I, I'm not really sure. Let's open it. Let's open it together. I don't want to lose the Diane's ah, Diane sticker stays. This has become an unboxing. <laughs> Oh god, how do I get in this? Ah, there's tape. There's always tape. I'm trying not to bend Diane. Oh. Ooh. Oh, it's a foundation. Oh, it's like a, a, a moussey foundation. This is like the kind of one that every, all the girls used to wear when I was growing up. What was it like, um, what was the brand? Um, and it was just like this, like a foamy sponge one. I used to wear that all the time when I was 16. Okay. I don't know shade-wise if it's going to be... It's got Diane on it, so I trust that it'll be a nice light shade. And this little mini palette from Vise. Vise, Vise. Oh, I'm going to get all these brand names wrong. So there are the colours. Um, as I said, <laughs> this is all about my um, in my clothing haul video. I had this purple outfit for Harajuku planned, and I didn't have any like purple eyeshadow because all my purples are in like huge palettes that I didn't want to, you know, trek halfway across the world. So um, I saw Chewy, she's the face of this brand, and I saw this little palette with purple in it, and I was like, yeah. And then we will do some swatches because I am a beauty guru. It's the purple. Again, like, you know, with Asian makeup, usually the pigment isn't as strong as you'd get maybe in a Western brand. The white, almost non-existent. And this little pink one. And there's the pink one for you. It's a cute little package and um, you know does the job very sparkly and lastly in my a twice members the face of this brand so I had to get it is the SK2 or ski it's called ski um so this is the trial kit and I picked this up at duty free because um I had quite a lot of yen left and a couple hours until my flight and I've been umming and eyeing about this brand the whole time every time I saw it uh, so if you don't know, Mina from Twice is the face of this brand. And it's kind of a pricey brand, so I have Skin Skin Power Cream. We have Ooh an Essence. There should be a face mask in here somewhere, hopefully. So we have a little mini cleanser. These mini travel size cleansers have done me so well with travelling. I took one, not from this brand, from another brand to Japan. When I've been going to gigs, just, oh, travel size cleansers. That's the way forward. <laughs> and a little face mask. Here you go, ski. Before I bought this, I think like Jung Yun posted like that she'd got some free from Mina and I was like, oh next time I see it I'm getting some. <laughs> so I did. Yeah, just that duty free. It was like like um close to twenty thousand yen. I think that's what I had left was two ten thousand yen. So a bit pricey, but um we'll see if it makes my skin feel like a baby. Maybe I can do like a review video. Is it worth the price? Does my skin feel like a baby? Leave a like and a comment if you would like to see me try out the ski trial kit. Little things left in here. Actually, there's quite a lot left in here. Let's go back to Innisfree. 
This is something I've wanted and almost put in my Yes Style basket many times over the last God knows how many years, three years. And it is the Jeju Cherry Blossom, like anything from the Cherry Blossom range, but this is the Jelly Cream. Brightening with Jeju Cherry Leaf Extract and Hydrating by Betaine. The packaging is so cute, even the lid, I think like the speckling is so cute. I have used this a couple of times. Oh, it smells so good. And since it was, um, I was in Japan at the tail end of cherry blossom season, it did feel fitting, even though of course Jeju is in Korea, um, South Korea. But yeah, I've... Next is like my big item, like my favorite item. And it is this Biore UV Perfect Milk. Guys, this changed my life. Not to be dramatic, but like, I've always struggled to incorporate um, SPF into my skincare, which you should definitely use some kind of UV protection in your skincare, but quite a lot of stuff in the UK is just too heavy, it's too oily, it's too greasy. We caught the sun a little bit on the first day and we thought, we need to buy some kind of sunscreen stuff. And I picked this one up on a whim because it was a decent price. It was like 400 yen in the first shop I got it in. My second one, and I picked up a second one, that's how good it is, was a little bit pricier, 634 yen. But um, the way this feels on my skin, like there was one evening where I went out and I literally just had this in. Um, and my friend was like, oh yeah, your skin, you can tell it's just like glowy. It feels so good. It's, oh, it's the texture of it. Like, I love this stuff. And I had heard stuff about free. Um, I got some freebies. So, <laughs> the lovely people at Innisfree. So I got this little. So I used to put on like a mask or a cream. Um, I just should use it with my jelly cream. And then just some retinol um, repair stuff. And I think there might have been an essence as well. But I used it. <laughs> Um, because when skincare places give you freebies, can't go wrong with trying something new and then it could become a hit, so you never know. Pore strips, you can't go wrong with Biore pore strips. For some reason in the store I was in, I could only see the men's ones, so they are the men's <laughs> ones. Um, like, and again, just a simple, like, because my skin breaks out, some spot patches. Tea tree, as I said, tea tree is a go-to in my skincare. Some little BT21. So we have this jelly candy lip tint. I think it's a lip tint in grapefruit, and it has Tata on it. And then we have eye glitter again BT21, and it's a, a brown. And so that has been my um, beauty, mostly skincare, little haul from Japan. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like I rushed through this one, but there was a lot to get through. I wanted to bash everything out. Um, skincare has been something that I've been really enjoying over the last few years. I do have my lazy days, but um, yeah, being able to go to Japan and like get like stuff without like shipping prices even if it is a Korean brand um, I'm still not having to pay the shipping on it so <laughs> and that UV milk I'm in love with it if you are ever in Japan and you see the Biore UV milk try this like honestly honestly and I could recommend any product to anyone whether it has any good benefits or not this just feels so good on your skin this has just been as I said, life-changing. <laughs> but anyway, that was my um, little haul of skincare and beauty that I got in Japan. And I will see you in the next video, which will probably be another haul. Um, yeah, like and subscribe. Do people say that? <laughs> Bye!